Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer and what a couple of episodes we've had recently. Um, we finally managed to break away into Harad's own territories across the River Anduin. Uh, we've taken obviously Nindad Estalad last episode and now we're under siege defending it. But we also have a near full stack force about the same size as this one, maybe a bit more obviously because there's not as many damaged units. Um, but they're in the ships just out, um, out off the fishing village at Lynn here. They're going to be sailing south along the coast. Which target they're going to go for first, I'm not too sure. Um, but they are going to be sailing down along the coast just to do see what damage that we can do um, and wreck some large towns. I don't know whether I'll conquer anything, but I might just raid the cities and demolish everything, take all their money, that sort of stuff. But for this bat this episode, sorry, this started this episode uh, there. For this start of this episode, guys, we're going to be defending ourselves at Nindad Estolad. So, let's Don't begin. Now, from what we remember in the last episode, it's a bit of a narrow town. There's not a lot of space to maneuver. So, that can be both good and bad for us. We do need to rely on our cavalry to help with this fight. Um, but what I'll do is I'll probably send my cavalry out of one of the additional gates to uh, intercept enemy troops. Um... Right, so they're attacking from the same side that we attacked in the last episode. Where is another gate? Oh, seriously? It's just the one gate? Ah, oh, we are screwed. <laughs> oh, God. We have the one gate. Oh, that's a load of rubbish. Damn. Okay. Um... Well, at least we can form our guys up. Oh, they look they look pretty cool like that. That's actually a pretty badass look. I might take a screenshot of that. When I start the battle, though. Get rid of that big start battle sign on the top of the screen there. So we've got cavalry deployed all over the place. Uh, let's just bring people back over there. Bring you back over here. Nope, apparently not. Okay. You form down here, maybe? There we go. Right, so. I can't even form my... I can't even form these guys. Aha! If I can't form... I can't do stakes. Oh, I could form them up there. Well, what use is that? Come on. So that is going to be a spot where a building would go, I imagine. I want to build stakes. Come on. Why not? Oh, that's useful. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for that. They need to be on grass, I know. But um, I was hoping I might be able to... S I was hoping I might be able to get my troops close enough to like the wall or something so they deployed outside or something. I don't know. This is my biggest beef with this game is the fact that the deploying deploying your troops is just such a hassle. It's so bad. <laughs> Almost to the point where you just can't deploy your troops. So I can't deploy this unit anywhere else other than where it is. Great. Okay, so. Oh my god, I can't deploy anything. Right, okay, so. I'm just going to have to start the battle and see what I can do.
first. Let's get this screenshot. Nice. Right. Pause, 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 pause. You. Shoot that damn ram, please. Get rid of that thing. Now then, how am how am I gonna do this? Because there's just no space to maneuver at all, and there's only one gate, so I can't even get my cavalry outside to be f effective. So oh, no, don't move. Right. So I need to block off the roads somehow. I need to use that to funnel the enemy down and use my archers to as much effect as possible, so. Right, cavalry. Let's get my general out here, out the way. What I'll do is I'll bring two archer units. down this road here. Put another archer unit at the base of this hill. And the range is at the top of it, maybe? Nope, can't go up that high. Damn, okay. I got one archer unit there. Okay, so that's my archers sorted. My baluster is a different story. I mean, I, oh, I didn't even have a look to see what sort of missile troops they have. Okay, they're hunters, archers, archers, muhad chaisman. Do they have any missile cav? Some random marauders, some archer cav, serpent bodyguard, lancers. Okay, so they have like barely any missile troops. That's good for us. For the moment. Right, so now pikemen. Um, see, I don't even know where I'm going to put my baluster. There's not really anywhere to put... Oh, I could maybe put him up on top of here. If I can get him up on there, that'd be a good shot to be a good place to set them up. Right, this general, let's get him down here so we can activate those towers. Right, so we got one, two. Three, four. You guys are group three. That's fine. Okay. Uh, pikemen. Man, I can't even get pikemen into pro into, into a proper position. Thing is, there's three roads to get down here. This is ridiculous. Um, block off that road. 
bring some militia down there as well and then we'll use the militia on this side cool and then we've got a unit of 100 militia keep one there get one of our warden units There, I may have to all reorganize or reangle my rangers. There we go. So that's more or less everyone on the move. Right, let's see what we can do with this. We're not going to get any kills with our towers, really, are we? So, damn. Curses! The enemy are battering down our gates. So, Ballister having to go all the way around to get up top. So let's bring this general down this way. Bloody your spear points! What are they doing? Not, not shooting at me. Uh, sorry, not shooting at me. They're not breaking down my... Oh, okay, there we go. Now they are. Right. The enemy are battering down the gates! Their eyes. The enemy's right. ram is through our gates. Here we go. Here we go. Fight for your honor. The battle oh. begins. The walls are no longer ours. The enemy have taken them. Go let some of them in. We can't waste our ammunition. Here we go. Bloody your spear points. Guard mode, hold your ground, boys. Hopefully we do some damage to them. I hope this is going to be a good vantage point. I need this to work. Fight for your honor. You're under attack. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. Oh my god, they're reloading. Please fire, please, please, please. Ballista. <gasps> they fired. Yes! The hill works! The hill works! Oh, no, it's not firing. Okay, fire there. Just all people fire into the middle. Holy mother. Need some backup over on that side. Send our other general over there. Go, go, go. Might send some Lebanon Marines over there as well. 
Keep firing, you beautiful ballister. Nice. Where's the enemy general as well? Ah, he's over there. Thank you, Ballister. Thank you. Wait, why are you fighting? How, who are you fighting? Get over here. Oh, so a couple of spearmen managed to run, run past my troops. Cool. Fight for your honor. Actually, fire there. Get this middle unit to shoot to these archers here. There we go. Look how much damage we've done. 33% already. Pretty good. So glad that baluster thing's working. I'm pretty sure I told you guys to run over here, which meant coming through. Oh, that's blocked off. Look at that. Looks like a road, but you can't move there because you get blocked by the building. Oh, that's sneaky. Fast aiming at those guys. Nice. Good hit. I'm losing a lot of men to their archers, though. Right, I need to get my general down here. Let's send my militia. We'll send them. We'll send my king, faction leader, whatever, down that way. Let's move these archers out the way. Move this arch unit over. And this will also free up some space for my rangers. 12% for 48. Throw your javelins, boys. Nice. They are not taking this place without a fight, that's for sure. Throw. Damn it, you didn't throw. Lost 17% of my army now. The front line's faltering. Look how much damage we've done down the middle, though. Enemy pikemen down here now. Damn it. Come on, we need to win this. Well, that's an obvious statement, but. <laughs> Let's aim my ballister for the enemy general. Ballister. The other problem is that I think there's another full stack not too far away, so I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to uh, 
hold on to this after this battle. Make every shot count. Even if we win this, I'll probably demolish stuff and try and evacuate my troops. Because I don't think we're going to have any, very many men left after this one. I just need my balancer to get a really lucky shot and hit the general, wherever he is. Where is he? Where even is he? Oh, that's him there at the back. Generals, fight to the last man. Pass isn't nearly out of ammunition. But to be fair, they've done a pretty good job. 42% for 75 so far. See if we can get some last shots down over. <coughs> excuse me, into that group over there. Seven militia units down here left. Their archers have still got ammunition. I don't understand that. How have you still got ammunition? The Rangers are taking quite a few casualties now. Bands of power is still even. Two generals here, even though they've taken a few casualties each, they've uh, reduced those troops that were here down to a mere handful left. Which is good. Unfortunately, there's a load of pikemen left in this bundle over here, so I don't think we're going to be able to do much damage there. Damn, my banister can't shoot that. Banister's up to, silver sh uh, up to gold chevron, though. Which is pretty good. Pull my general back. I'm gonna get these rain these uh guys to do some shooting. Oh look at this 1v1. The banner versus the regular. Fight! Oh, oh they both died. <laughs> they, they both got killed by my javelins. Oops. My fault, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to kill ya. Get 
those guys have finished up over there. Fight for your honor. We've done pretty well defending that spot. That's pretty good. Archers. Barely a third of the way through the time frame yet. That's crazy. Can you aim for the enemy general? We need to kill the enemy general. Oh, the enemy general's heading down to my front line. Fight for your honor. Down to my last handful of troops here. Oh, look at all this. It's just a sea of brown and blue. general to and my infantry to charge there with retaking the gate uh-oh hey 59% for 89% Dead. Nice. Oh, the enemy general is trapped. Those archers are down to their last two. Kill that banner carrier. <laughs> this is such a bloody battle. I'll quickly take care of this enemy general. got this we got this in the bag just about All right my faction leader can deal with those last three so we'll take this other unit of 11 
go help take care of those uh, troll men. All the enemy's troops are trapped in the town now. This has just been absolute chaos. Thankfully, that tactic with the baluster on the hill at the back worked. We managed to take out quite a lot of their troops with our baluster. That was pretty good. That's the last seven pikemen there. Enemy general still hasn't gone down. These trollmen are all dying off now. There we go. There goes the enemy general. Vanquished. Wow. This is a great victory. Jesus. Only the 571 men lost. Casualties healed. Not that great, to be honest. Well, actually, to be fair, it's not too bad. But, yeah, 571 men lost. 2,100 killed. Holy mother... I was concentrating so hard in that battle. I apologize if I wasn't talking enough. Um, but yeah, I was concentrating so much in that battle. So much. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it, no. Hey guys, sorry about that. Just as it got into my turn, it, the game basically just crashed. So, um, luckily it's, it did an auto save just as it flipped into my turn and then it crashed. So, here we are back at the start. Um, right, I've got 2,900 on hand. Let's build something. I want to build something in Dol Amroth if I can, actually. Uh, let's build the governor's quarters. Let's get some free upkeep a bit more so that when I complete these missions where I get, you know, higher tier units, I should be able to afford to maintain their upkeep. I'm bringing this fleet over this way. Hopefully, we can bring our army over this way to do something. I don't know. Um, but I don't think I'm going to survive the battle at Nindad Estolad. Is there anything in there that I can demolish that I don't necessarily need? Uh, let's get rid of the stables. And get rid of the catapult maker, the leather worker. I'll get rid of the practice range as well, actually. At least this way, if I lose that battle, I... You know, I've gained some money from it. This actually means I could probably build something else somewhere. Dole Amroth Archers. Uh, Nimmerdale Rangers 270. Dole, Roth, Dole Amroth Archers 280. Let's see, melee attack 7, missile attack 6, miss, melee attack 6, missile attack 5, total defense 15, total defense 30. So these, the Nimrodel Rangers have better attack, both in melee and missile, but the Dol Amroth Archers have a better defense. And there's obviously 128 of them and 101 of the Nimrodel Rangers. Mm. No, we'll go for Governor's Quarters again. We want to keep free upkeep as much as possible. Um... Your orders, without there, I, I wonder if there's a chance I could possibly get peace with Harad um, if I did like a ceasefire and then gave them 
nin dad esta lad or something as a hmm wonder if that's a possibility the possible outcome from that actually would be that they then divert all their military towards somewhere else somewhere else possibly approaching quietly but it gives us it saves it saves our three generals and it gives us a chance to replenish um, and this army is more or less it looks like it's going to be a f My Lord. no damaged units yep it's a completely fresh army I won't win I don't think I will I think I'll do a lot of damage I think I'll be able to put a pretty good fight up but ultimately I don't think I'm going to I don't think I'd win that fight not against a fresh army I was able to win the last one because they had about seven units that were less than half half strength. This one, they're all fresh. I don't think I'm going to survive that one. <sighs> God damn it. Let's just... Right, you know what? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't know. Right, you know what? Okay, let's 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 do this. I'm gonna bite the bullet. I don't care if you guys are gonna hate me for it, but I'm gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna bite the bullet and see. We cannot refuse to give them words of wisdom such as these. Awaiting your command. As much as it pained me to do it. We're now at peace with Harad. But. Ships ready. And this is a big but. This gives us a chance to send this army down south against Umbar instead. Because a lot of people have been telling me to go for Umbar. But I just haven't had the resources to be able to send troops down there. But now that we're at peace with Harad, I can relax a little bit. I'm not going to obviously let my guard down entirely. But it gives me. Oh, we have a mission to go block the port. Hold on. Um, but it gives me, even if it's just for a turn, it gives me that chance to be able to bring this army out of Harad's territory, get away from Harad entirely, and um, replenish. We'll send them back to Lynn here to be replenished. This army, in the meantime, is going to head south along the coastline, and we're going to make a we're going to make a break for Umbar. Uh, we're going to see what troops they have down there as well. Uh, let's end the turn, see what happens. Oh, I really didn't like doing that, but I had I didn't have a choice. If I well, that tell like, I had two choices: either I make peace, give them Nindadesalad, and save my forces, or I fight to the death at Nindadesalad and potentially lose my faction leader plus two generals and an entire very experienced army that I've had since the beginning that's defeated Harad at least a dozen, like a dozen times at Lin here. And I wasn't prepared to do that. I couldn't. After everything that they've been through, no, I just I couldn't do it. So, luckily that full stack's not broken the ceasefire. They've retreated. Okay, that was another worry. I was going to have that my army outside the field is going to get betrayed by the ceasefire. Luckily they didn't. Plans of Venendwaith are good. Relations of Dominions, uh, Dominion of Isengard, so-so. Lin here now has a port. Income at 1100. We can get some basic ships. God, I really didn't like doing that, but I didn't have a choice. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry if you hate me now, but I didn't have a choice. Come on, let's let's move let's move on. Let's focus my troops on. Okay. Pretty light troops by the looks of things. Khaldun. What I may do is attack Khaldun and sack it. Um, ready. Mariners of the fleet. Yes, sir. Let's see, what troops should I put over there? I guess I could send my Bannister in there. Mariners. I only have two archers, so let's change that. Should I send another general as well? Yeah, let's send another general as well. Pike unit as well. 
So I can get one more unit in there. I want a melee. I want a melee troop if I can get one. Militia. There we go. So this army is significantly being reduced now. But I have a full stack ready to head south against Umbar. That's all that matters to me at the moment. My lord. We're making a beeline for Umbar. That's where we're going, boys. I'm sure Gondor aren't very happy with my decision, but hey. Yes, my lord. I know they're getting um, invaded by Mordor everywhere, but hey, uh, you know, my troubles are my troubles. Uh, can I... I could, without question. Yes, It'd be great if I could get some map question. information from Gondor, you As know, you us wish. being allies and everything. End the turn. We'll do one more turn flip, and then unfortunately I'm going to have to end the episode, guys. But yeah. So, we've fought so many battles so far against Hyrad. But I wasn't getting anywhere. I, that you know, the last three episodes is the most I've been able to gain. Took Barad Han, kept it for a couple of turns, demolished it all and abandoned it because a full stack appeared. Then I took Nindad Estalad pretty quickly, defended that once, and then d destroyed everything and abandoned it because it was a full stack. So you know, I managed to make some gains, but then I had to abandon the plans because I was outnumbered again and I wasn't able to survive. So I wasn't really getting anywhere against Harrod, but at least this ceasefire, their troops seem to be heading away from their lands, northwards. Unfortunately, Gondor, it looks like you're going to have to sort of pick up the slack a little bit, unfortunately. You're going to have to take up some of the strain that I've sent your way, but if we can wait long enough, we should be able to build another, another couple of forces to move back in and attack their lands. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Right, let's... Uh, how much money are we making? Just over a thousand still. Let's retrain. Those three. Those troops are retrained. Halfway there to being able to upgrade Gobble Toll for us. That's all right. It's not too bad. Two turns there, and the other end at Mithras. And nothing to build there. Ships ready. Let's keep as many ships as possible near my army. Ships ready. Blocking access to the My Lord. Approaching quietly. Approaching quietly. There's a force of Umbarian troops there. I'm gonna get my spy to sp uh, have a look at their capital. Look at that, naval dry dock. That looks that looks that looks amazing. So yeah. We're going to be aiming for Khaldun to start with, I think. Depending on what their capital has. I think there's a full stack standing outside their capital. I think. Alright. There we go. I'm going to have to end it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Unless you've started to hate me. I'm sorry. <laughs> see you later, guys.